Here is a 2020 quick tip for you. The quick access toolbar. I'm guessing many of you have seen this up here and you may have used a couple of the functions on it, but you may not realize that it is completely customizable, meaning that just about any command that you can think of inside 2020 is, is available to add to this. So one that I like to add that something that really bugs me is if I want to print something, if I want to do a print preview, I have to go file and I have to go print. I have to go print preview. That's three clicks. So I'm going to close that. So I want to make it so that print preview is one click. So let's go ahead and customize quick access toolbar. So you have some, some that you can check and uncheck that will, that are predefined from 2020 as it, when it's installed, but you can also go down here to say more commands and more commands is as I said, just about anything is available. There's the file menu, this print preview, home, room layout. So the file is where we'll find preview floor plan is what I want. So a couple of things that I want to do is I want to clean this up. There are a few things that I don't really use, design information being one of them. So I'm actually going to remove it and the separator. So that was it. And that separator is a little vertical bar. I'm going to get rid of that. And then I'm going to uh, get rid of zoom region. And eh, that's probably pretty good. So I'll leave everything else here. I don't use draw, drawing layout much. So I'm gonna get rid of that. So that's going to clean it up a little bit. So I'm going to add at the very least preview. So if you go preview floor plan, click add and it puts it here down at the bottom which means that it will be here at the end but I probably want it to be in a more logical spot so I'm going to put it up with the new open and save so the way you do that is when it's highlighted click this arrow I'm going to have it at the bottom there I'm going to leave the separator and uh, something else I'm going to do is I'm going to add save as I like you know, save as is several clicks as well. Uh, and there's just a save as, which will bring up a couple of layers or save as with the arrow, save as with the arrow will actually bring up when you click that, it will bring up your options for save as. So that will save some time as well. So I'm going to bring that up here, put it next to save and preview. Okay. So those are the two things that I want to add to it. So, um, one last thing I want to do is I like it a little bit closer to my work area. So you can tell it to show it below the ribbon. That's what's called the ribbon. So then I'm going to say, okay. And there it is below the ribbon. It got rid of the things that I don't want and it added the things that I want. So save as if I want to save as an image, save as a new file name or an incremental save right there, one click, and then print preview. The one that I love to have as one click. So that is your 2020 quick tip for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have a great day.